just explain um, again for people who haven't thought about cosentropin tests for a while what exactly it is and um, what exactly you're looking for with the 14 versus the greater than 18? Absolutely, would be happy to. So this is a common test that we end up doing um, in endocrine, right? In endocrine, we're very convoluted, I say. When we are looking for deficiency, we like to stimulate you. And when we're looking for excess of hormones, we like to suppress you, right? So that's the basic ideology and the concept that we go with, right? So if you want to understand about how ACTH and cortisol are kind of crosstalk each other, you think of the pituitary gland that's sending an email in the form of ACTH telling the adrenal glands that are sitting right on top of the kidneys to make that end hormone, which is cortisol, right? So when we have patients, let's say long-term steroids, since we have been talking about it quite a bit. So we are causing tertiary adrenal insufficiency where we're shutting down that HPA axis. So hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. So we're shutting that down. So we suspect that under the influence of the steroids, your HP, which is pituitary, your ACTH is low and your cortisol is low. So when we do our steroid tapers and we want to do, say, a cosentropin test to determine if the patient can respond, what we're trying to do is we're trying to give a nice horse kick to the adrenal gland to make it wake up and bring it back from where they're vacationing in Hawaii back to making some steroids, right? Because that's what the body understands. If I'm taking prednisone or hydrocortisone for, say, five months, the adrenal glands, the way they respond is that, hey, I'm not needed. I can go vacation in Hawaii because someone else is doing my job. And you know how hard it is to come back from vacation. That's exactly why we do a taper. We try to ask them to come back, send them some flowers, send them some chocolate and say, hey, you got to come back over here and start acting, right? So at the end of these tapers, that is what we're doing. We're giving a horse kick in the form of an ACTH shot. So cosentropin is nothing but synthetic ACTH that is given in the form of an intramuscular shot, typically because it's given in clinic. And we get labs done at time zero. We like to do it at eight o'clock in the morning. Again, we're not held on to that timing, depending on when your patient comes in and how far they live, right? So ideally 8 a.m. in the morning, because you want to see at the peak time what your cortisol and ACTH at baseline are. And then the patient gets that shot. They wait in the waiting room for about 60 minutes, go back down to the lab, get the, ba- get the post-stimulation uh, cortisol done, which is after 60 minutes. And people do it differently. They do 30 minutes and 60 minutes. We typically end up doing 60 minutes and at Duke. Uh, for From a patient perspective, if I've done a taper and I've been off of steroids and I've done a cosentropin test and my post-stimulation cortisol is 1920, I'm in the blue. I'm doing very well. I can be off of steroids. You get a blessing from the endocrinologist and you say, everything's fine. Call me if you need me. Don't throw away your steroids just in case and just hang on to that and here's my number, right? If I do a stim test and someone comes back with a cortisol of 7, they, so they went from five to seven. I know that those adrenal glands have not woken up, right? That is a patient that either may need lifelong steroids or can get off of steroids in the future with a slower taper. And if it's someone who's 80 years old with multiple comorbidities, I'd rather say, we're going to keep you on steroids, very low dose steroids, quality of life matters. We're not going to go through this um, experience again. So really at that point, it comes back to the discussion of who would be an okay candidate to leave on steroids. Versus would you like to attempt to get off of steroids because now they're 40 years old and they have a long life ahead, right? So it really depends on those factors.